welcome back everyone so in this video I just want to do a quick edit keyword and upload uh, images to um, a stock photography website uh, so I have the set of images here that I want to edit so I'm just gonna open them up in Adobe Lightroom all right so we have the images here and the name of the game when it comes to stock photography it's it's just not to do too much work right <laughs> um, so you want to do as little work as possible so i'm just gonna um, quickly do an auto on this image and yeah i'll just edit this a little bit more Yeah, so you want to churn out content, right? So you don't want to spend most of your time editing images. Um, the more images you have out there in your portfolio, the more you stand to earn. All right, so let's copy over these edits and then I'm going to paste them to the rest of these. Okay, so and now I'll select them one by one to ensure that they look okay and this one's a little too bright I also want to go back and make sure there's no intellectual property showing so I want these to be submitted as commercial images All right, so first thing is to check this here. So yeah, there's nothing here that will give except for this. So let's see if we can remove that real quick. Yep, that is sufficient. Okay, I think that's the only one that had anything on it. All right, and let's see. There, uh, when I zoomed in, there was some uh, noise on these images. So let's zoom in again. Yeah. Um, what was the ISO? So, I mean, 1200, it's not the end of the world, but uh, let's remove some of that noise. Where am I? Um, yeah, so I'm just going to do the manual. It has this whole AI denoise, but it's not necessary here. Yeah, that looks good. And I think they were all taken around the same ISO. Yes, I'm just going to um, copy. I'm not sure if you can just paste the, the denoise in, in this Lightroom. OK, so I'm just going to go quickly go through and denoise all of these real quick. Yeah, that looks good there. All right, so I'm satisfied with how these look. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and export. I'm going to uh, select them all and then file export and then export again once you've made your settings I'm doing JPEG full size quality 100% and I'll keep all the metadata there all right so let's go to pictures and New folder. Edited. 
export let's wait for that okay perfect so that's done I'm gonna quit Lightroom alrighty and then I'm gonna open up Metaphoto AI all right excellent and come over to it's in not that edited there we go all right so excellent we got all of the images here all right so just let's go ahead and keyword all of these here and yeah so let's do the batch process and that should be done within a few seconds done okay perfect and I'll generate categories for just Shutterstock in this instant excellent all right so just like that I'm gonna ensure that metadata is saved to the files I'm gonna export a CSV all right and I am done here so let's go over to uh, Shutterstock and we're gonna go to upload and let's find the images Alright, so that's good. Okay, so let's upload the CSV file so the categories come over and then we don't have to do anything extra in Shutterstock. And then we edit. So that's the CSV. and perfect so you can see all of these have are ready to go so I'm just gonna select a few of them close good alright and then hit submit okay so those are submitted if we go to submitted okay so there you can see they're submitted and yeah so those should be processed in the next day or so all right guys um so yeah i am running a quick sale on metaphoto ai so from now until january 2nd um, you can get 20 percent off by using the coupon code holiday 20 at checkout all right so until next time have a good one